OK, Paul, let's start with the transfer window. Um, anything imminent happening ahead of the weekend? We're trying, Matt. We're trying. So, you know, there might be some news. I can't honestly say, give you that information now. Um, but there could be a new face. We're hoping so um, as part of the squad at the weekend. Can I throw a name at you that's doing the rounds at the moment? You uh, can, yeah. Tristan Abrahams. Are you trying to sign him? I'm a Aware of Tristan, yeah, and he's, he's certainly in a position that we're we're looking at. So, yeah, I'm I'm aware of that of that one, and you know he's he's certainly a player that's got some good attributes. What's his contractual situation then at the moment? Is he free um, agent or is he still? No, contracted? he's under contract at, at Carlisle. He's my to my knowledge. I think he's got eighteen months left still still on his deal up there. What's he like as a striker then? Obviously, you're aware of him. What sort of striker is he? He's He's got a bit of pace. He's probably different to the sort of type that we've got, realistically. Um, he's quite physical as well, but he's, he's got a change of pace, certainly. And someone, I guess, you know, looking at it, as I've, I've done when you look at all these... You know, he's trying to fill a position. Um, you know, it probably hasn't gone as well as what he would have liked more recently. So I think that's why perhaps there's a, a possibility that he, he could be looking for more game time, if you like, to uh, to try and get his career back on track. Is that a loan or a permanent that you're trying to sort there? Uh, it'd be a loan deal, Matt, if, if anything does get done on that. OK, um, that's good. Hopefully that will come off for you. Um, what else is happening on the transfer front? Can you share anything else as to what progress you're making with? No, um, no progress uh, in truth. Um, just the probably just groundhog day, Matt. Realistically, if you play the probably uh, her interview from last week, very, very similar. You know, we're still working away. Um, we did obviously add a, in the end. Certainly one deal was very, not, not out of the blue, but as in didn't expect it to happen. And as I've said to you before, in one call, uh, phone call, all of a sudden a player arrived last Friday. So in, in that's Scott Burgess. So things can happen quickly, but we have, you know, recently added uh, the three players to, uh, to his ranks. So we, and we've got a couple back from suspension. So we, we're a lot healthier in terms of numbers, um, you know, going into this Bromley game. Another social media rumour that's been doing the rounds, um, Stourbridge defender Jack Hickman is apparently on trial with you. Is that true? Jack come and trained for a day and he played in the game uh, against Lincoln, uh, the reserve game that we had the other day. Um, but that's that's kind of all it was, Matt. There's no uh, nothing further. Um, so yeah, there was it was right in one sense, uh, but you know we uh, we won't be pursuing that. Okay. Um, any outward movement at all at the club? Um, we've had a conversation uh, or an interest in a player. I don't want to name that player at the minute in case it you know it doesn't happen. Um, so possibly, um, I think Louis Adlard got one game left. Uh, on his loan spell. Um, I haven't had an indication yet whether that'll be extended so he could return to the club or he could be, be going back out as well. Is that David Longking who's attracting interest? As I say, I don't want to comment Matt at the minute, just uh, you know, until either something is finalised or it's not. I think that's be potentially unfair on the player. Um, so you just have to bear with me on that one. Is it a loan option though that we're talking about here, or might it be a permanent departure? Uh, the interest, for, the interest from a club is is about taking a player on loan. Right. Okay. Might that happen before the weekend? Potentially, it could. Yeah. Um, got my phone here. Not that that works for radio. I appreciate that, but you've seen it on a, on a Zoom call. Um, so yeah, that that could happen. Okay. Um, another rumor: Omar Bogle. Are you in for him again? <laughs> You're waiting for that question, weren't you? No, it not, happens every not, window. Probably not, if I'm honest, Matt. Um, I, I find it difficult. I try and keep a sense of humour about it and everything. But I, I think it's it, like, quite frankly ridiculous in terms of 
Omar's just got back involved at, at Doncaster. I know his agent well. We have conversations. If there was any thought that Omar would be remotely interested in coming back to Grimsby Town, then it would happen quite easily and quite quickly. There is no interest there whatsoever. Um, on your part or his? No, on the players' part. On the players' part. And that's I'm not trying to be critical of Omar or anything like that. It's just not the time. And I think there's a thought that at some point in the future, it, it one day it could happen, you know, but because he did enjoy his time here. Um, but I think we have to be respectful. Omar was involved in championship football not so long ago. And yes, his opportunities might have been limited for whatever reasons, but it's, um, like I say, he's not going to be joining us, um, is, is the bottom line. And it's just, I guess, a name that just seems to get uh, thrown up every time there's a there's a transfer window, I guess. Um, as for Bromley, <laughs> um, do you owe them one? Um, I think on the night we were certainly disappointed with a few things. Obviously, the result. It was his first defeat of the season. Um, partly self-inflicted with certainly Misha sending off in terms of having a better chance to, to take something from the game. I think we were 2-1 down at that point, I believe. So, you know, not disputing the fact that they were they were already ahead in the game. Um, but it, it certainly didn't help. It was a terrible night in terms of conditions with the wind and the rain, etc. Um, and I think there were a few comments around that I didn't quite understand. So... Did any uh, irk you in particular? Any that, that stick with you? Just, just a bit about the COVID. I, I didn't really see what the the issue was there. As I, again, go, I guess, emphasise again, I wanted to play that first game of the season. I expected us to play the first game of the season. You know, we took instruction and following the guidelines, we weren't able to. I, I don't understand what the, the sort of question mark about that was. Um, was that actually mentioned they, during the game? No, not during the game. I think it was. I think pretty sure it was mentioned afterwards. Um, as I said, I don't don't really get that. Um, they beat us on the night. That's like I said. Was disappointed with a couple of things from our point of view that we did that didn't help. But they're clearly a team that's that's going very well. They've got an out and out, out goal scorer in in Michael Chi. They're a big a big side threat from set plays um, and and have a lot of sort of forward runners uh, from the midfield areas. So, you know, I'm not being critical of them, but it was just disappointing evening for us uh, back. I don't know when it was September. Maybe. September. Uh, yeah. So does it fire um, you up a bit more? It seems a long time ago, Matt, to be honest. Um you know, it might obviously talk about it a little bit in terms of uh, the lads that were here. But again, we've got some new players that certainly weren't involved in that game. A couple have gone back. Um, I, you know, I very much want to focus on on trying to build on uh, the win last weekend. We're at home. I think there's a, a responsibility on us to try and take the game to, to Bromley. And I felt, you know... We did okay against them last time, um, but then the equaliser knocked us. They got another goal uh, quite quickly afterwards, and then, it, like I said, any sort of comeback was certainly took a big hit in terms of of Misha getting sent off. And with the next two games against teams in and around the playoff picture, you can really put down a marker, can't you, with your first back to back wins since the uh, October, wasn't it? Since I think the end of October. Right. Um, but yeah, the, the, I mean, all I would say is you look at it and the tough games. Um, and again, that's not being disrespectful to any other teams that we're going to face. I think we've still got, you keep looking, I think that's a tough game. That's a tough game. Uh, but in terms of two teams that are above us in, in the league, um, at absolute minimum, we'll have playoff ambitions. Um, and we've got to you know, do all we can 
to as I said before, to stay in touch. Last weekend was a good weekend from us from the point of view, as in we took the three points. Quite a lot of the other teams didn't play because of being involved in the FA Trophy. So we clawed a little bit closer. I think we moved up one place. Um, but there's still obviously a bit of a gap there and, and we need to do all we can to ensure that that gap's not getting bigger and it hopefully, if possible, um, you know, close it.